sumptuous succulents. Hello, I'm Alan Gray and welcome to Get Gardening. You know, earlier this year I went to a trade show and at this trade show, or most trade shows, people give things to you. And somebody gave me this bowl. Can you see this bowl? It's a faux granite, that means fake, plastic bowl. And I thought, what the devil am I going to do with that? Anyway, I got home and I thought, well, it's worth trying to use it. So I put some Echeveria. These are these wonderful glaucous blue succulents with a little pink and orange flowers. And I didn't have enough to fill this bowl when I planted it. Can you believe that? And there were gaps between each of these lovely rosettes. And I filled the gaps very carefully with gravel just to make it look smart and give it a topping. Look at it today. This is about two months ago I filled this, I suppose. And today the rosettes are so close together, they're just chock-a-block. And I want to show you something else. If you come around here, just look. They're such prolific plants, they're actually having babies. So you can take these off, let the end callus over and plant it in very gritty soil. It will root and you've got a new plant. And if you keep a rosette like this through the winter, keep it fairly dry, um, you have to watch out for vine weevil, by the way, because vine weevil love to eat the roots of them, so keep a watch out for that. Um, take it out of the pot in the spring after the winter, you'll find it's got masses of babies around it, just like a hen with her chicks. You can detach every one and you can have a bowl full of excellent echeverias. You know, nurserymen sometimes give plants names just to sell them. And this particular succulent is called Kalanchoe flapjack. I don't know whether you think it looks like a flapjack or not, but it's pretty sumptuous, isn't it? Look at the way the light shines through the leaves, the red tinge to the edge of the foliage. This is because we don't water it too much. It increases the redness and it gives this wonderful look. This is a plant that was new to me this year and I've had to buy in hundreds of them because everybody wants one. And you can see why, I think. Again, like Echeverias, they make babies around the edge. So you once you've got one, that's all you need because they propagate really, really easily from offsets. And if you really want to, you can have thousands. Do you really want a thousand? <laughs> Take each one off. <laughs> it's called Kalanchoe. That's K-A-L-A-N-C. <laughs> and this is a Kalanchoe called Flapjack. It's also called Oh, bug, I've forgotten. <laughs>